This YouTube introduces while and compares it to for. I have three functions written in here um, and all three do the same thing. They will add the first n ints um, bigger than or equal to 1 and they stop when the sum is bigger than or equal to smaller than or equal to sum max. And uh, what they will then do is return the sum and uh, the first one uses a for loop and the second two uses use a while loop. So let's look at the first one first. Um, so um, again what we do is we um, give the function two parameters n um, so this is going to be an integer uh, bigger than or equal to one and it will keep on adding um, the the next integer 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 if n is equal to 4 and it will keep doing that until um, the sum is less than or equal to sum max and then it will return the answer. So uh, let's let's run this and define these three functions. Okay so let's run the first one and uh, let's say we uh, sum the first four integers and our sum is uh, sum max is 12. Okay, so the sum of the first two integers is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is 10. So if I do this, it should go all the way to 10. <clears throat> now if I do this and I put 10 in there, it will go all the way to 10 because the sum is less than or equal to 10. On the other hand, if I put 9 in there, It, go, it doesn't go to 10, it goes to, it only sums the first three. Um, and so you can play around with this a little bit if you want. Let's look at the code. So um, I uh, initialize uh, an accumulator, which I'm going to use as a sum accumulator to zero. And then I have a fairly standard for num and range 1 to n plus 1, so that I'm cycling through 1 and then 2 and then 3 and all the way up to n. And the first thing I do inside the loop, since I've set the accumulator equal to zero, is I um, plus equal num into the accumulator. And then there's an if statement that says, if the accumulator is bigger than some max, then um, subtract um, the last num you put in and return accumulator. If accumulator is the same value as some max, return the accumulator. Um, the last option is um, uh, pass and that would mean add the next number in. Okay, so that's how that works. Now these, the last two work um, function, they output the same, so the same inputs will give the same outputs, um, but they use while instead. And so to, uh, to, uh, to run the second one, so let me do that. Um, and I'll do the same uh, the same um, inputs that I did did above there. Four comma twelve gives me ten. Four comma ten gives ten. Four comma nine gives six. And and so the way this works is uh, that I initialize my sum accumulator to zero and I initialize num to zero. And then the while loop has a boolean following it and the boolean, the condition is accum yet less than or equal to max. For, uh, the first thing inside the while loop is that I increase num by one. Um, and then I add, I add the number into the accumulator and then there's an if else. If the accumulator is less than or equal to um, to max um, at the end of this while loop, I return the accumulator. On the other hand, the else means that it's bigger than max, and in that case, I minus equal to num from the accumulator before returning a cum. Okay. Um, so. Um, 
the last iteration here is um, a shorter code version of this and what I do is I start the same way I uh, initialize the accumulator to zero initialize num to zero and then in my while statement if you if you do the while as a cum less than or equal to some max minus num plus one I'll let you think about this um, you can simply increase num um, plus equal to num into the accumulator and then return the accumulator um, and to demo that for you, just to show you that it uh, has the same uh, outputs with the same inputs. So that that's the same um, combination of uh, output for inputs given. And then let me give this a 9 just to, to demo that for you. Okay. So the big idea here is that the while is um, a loop which doesn't know ahead of time how many times it's going to go through the loop. You give it a condition ahead of time. In contrast to the for loop where it goes through the for loop a certain number of times. Now we're jumping out of the for loop here with these return statements um, that are inside conditionals. Um, but the while loop doesn't need to do that. Um, the while loop um, exits um, when this boolean is no longer true and so that turns out to be um, a very useful thing to do if you have what's known as an indefinite loop um, which is the computer science way of saying that you do not know ahead of time how many times you're going to go through the loop it's going to be determined by this boolean expression